Welcome to your My Language Lab course. This tour will guide you through how to access your course materials, assignments, and resources of the program that will help you achieve a better grade in the class. Please keep in mind that your instructor has the flexibility to adjust settings, turn off tools, and customize the course to fit their course needs. All of the features shown in this video apply to any My Language Lab course and textbook in the 2012-2013 release. Let's take a quick tour. When you enter your course, you landed on the Today's View. The Today's View is here to help save you time and to quickly access your assignments via the Assignments Calendar and also a place where you can receive alerts and notifications, including when your instructor has provided you feedback on a score on any instructor graded activity, including any voice recordings you submit. You can also see any messages from your instructor in the welcome message area. And you can check your progress on assigned material other than in your grade book via grades by clicking on the My Progress area in your course. To ensure you have a seamless experience with the tools and resources in the course on your personal computer, please make sure you go through the instructions on the Getting Started area on your Today's View. You might be wondering how you can access your eText. Well, the majority of the My Language Lab courses automatically include eText access. To access your eText, click eText from the Student Resource Toolbar. A new window will open and you may need to set up your eText. If you do not have an eText ID from your instructor, do not worry. You can click Join Self-Study eText at any time and have access to the entire eText that goes with your course and audio and video files directly from the eText. Notice you also have access to tutorials, glossary, and a verb chart, including a user guide as well that will help you with how to use the My Language Lab course, including additional student tutorial training videos on how to use the program. This toolbar will follow you around the course and it's always there when you need it. If your instructor has assigned homework with due dates, you can find your assignments by clicking on any alarm clock on the assignments calendar. You will then see a list of the assigned materials for that day. You will be able to start your homework ahead of time and you can also see which activities you have already completed and those you have not started yet. Let's complete an activity together. Click on the name of an activity to open it. Read the directions and answer the questions. If you need to answer any fill in the blank or free response questions, most courses will include a special characters palette to allow you the ability to enter in a special character by placing your mouse in the box and selecting the character above. And it will be entered in the box. Answer all the questions and the program will grade it for you. Make sure you click Finish Submit for Grading. Click Finish. Since this was a machine graded activity, you'll see your score and also a summary of what you got correct and incorrect. We want to help you get a better grade in the class. When you get something wrong, we'll give you a hint. Click on the bubble that appears next to the wrong answer. You'll see a specific hint to help guide you with that question. These hints are specific to the answer of the question. Want to try again? Well, click Try Again. You're then able to try the activity again. Notice your answers are saved when you try again. You will still have your feedback bubbles, but guess what? We didn't stop there. We wanted to give you additional help as well. In the upper right hand corner, you may see a button that says, Need help with this activity? Put your mouse on it and you will have additional access to specific help about the topic you're learning. The exact eText page where you need to study is brought right to you and will open up in a new window to help you with your homework. In addition, you may see grammar tutorials or vocabulary tutorials or even a flashcard link or extra practice activities that will help you with this exact assignment. You can change your answers and then resubmit for grading. Each time you submit an activity, that submission is saved in the system. And by default, your highest grade is recorded in the gradebook. When you return back to your course, notice you will have a View Submissions button appear. This will appear after you complete an activity, and it will give you quick access to review any of your previous submissions. 
If you still have additional attempts left on the activity, you can open the activity again to complete it from scratch while your original grades are always saved and recorded in the gradebook. And you can always review your work by clicking on the View Submissions button. Your instructor may also have assigned a free response or voice recording activity for homework. You can notice that there are free response or voice recording as they will have a pencil icon next to the name of that activity. You would click to open it just like any other activity and answer the questions, including you will still have the special characters palette to help you answer any questions needing a free response. Answer the questions and then click Finish Submit for Grading. Once you complete and submit one of these activities for grading, you will get confirmation that you have submitted in your answers and their pending instructor review. You might be wondering, how will I know when my instructor grades this activity? Can I see their comments? Well, we have an easy way for you to tell. When you return back to your course, you will see a submitted status. We have an alert for you on your Today's View called Instructor Comments. Go here to check to see if you have any activities that have been graded by your instructor. Your instructor may also provide you written comments or recorded comments back to you as well. Click on the name of the activity to open to see your work, your grade, and any comments from your instructor. If you notice on the left, you'll see your grade. And if you click on your grade, you will also be able to see any corrections your instructor may have made for you, including any feedback or comments. You will see the individual grade for that activity, or your instructor may have just decided to grade you for that entire activity and your grade would only appear at the top. You can view your original submission by clicking View Original and your original submission will open. When you're done viewing your submission, you have the option to just close and keep the link to your submission available in your instructor comments channel or you can choose Mark as Red, which would just clear this submission from your channel you would still be able to view the submission via your assignments calendar and through your gradebook, but it would be removed off your instructor comments channel. If you don't click mark as red, the activity will stay here and you'll be able to view and review your instructor's comments and grade at another time. To access your grades, you will always have a grades tab towards the top of your course. Click here to access your full gradebook. Please note, your instructor may have customized your gradebook columns. Overall, here is how you can find your grades. Click on one of the folders on the left to navigate through one of the chapters or a learning objective. Choose the type of activity you wish to review a grade on. You will be able to see your grades for any activities you've already completed. And if your activity has not been graded yet by your instructor, you will see a pending. You are always able to hover your mouse over any activity and see an options menu where you can view the submissions of your work. If your instructor has graded your activity that required their instructor's grading, the pending will be replaced by an actual grade. And at any time, you can hover your mouse and also view and review your submissions and your instructor's comments once they've given you comments or a grade. Notice too, you also have a course materials tab in your course. This will allow you access to additional resources and tools to help you get a better grade and review the material you're covering in your course. You can click on any folder in your course materials area to open a set of materials and resources that you can utilize even if your instructor has not assigned them to you. You'll have access to additional materials here and at any time you can complete them and if you do get a score you'll always be able to review your work as well in your gradebook. If your instructor has also assigned for you to download and install Blackboard IM which is a chat and synchronous tool it will be located under the Communicate tab. Click here and choose either Go to Wimba Pronto or Go to Blackboard IM, and it will walk you through the steps to download and install the Wimba Pronto Blackboard IM application. You'll instantly be able to sync up and talk to other classmates and have a wonderful chat tool to use for no additional charge with your My Language Lab course. Also, if you ever have any questions or need any technical advice with your course, there is a support button towards the upper right hand corner of every My Language Lab course. Click on this support and you will have a link directly to our 24-7 tech support help. From here you'll be able to chat with a live tech support agent 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. You can send an email and get a response back 
or you can search our knowledge base and find answers you need to various questions that may come up. Thank you for accompanying me on this tour today. I really hope you have a fabulous semester and enjoy learning another language.